Dearest Elspeth, it would seem despite my efforts to remain anonymous, my reputation has built enough momentum to exceed the better judgment of my affiliates. Somebody has been flapping their gums, and I aim to grind my boot heel on their waggling tongue. Why, just today some unknown fool claiming to be Dirty Steve, as a rather attractive halfling fellow came knocking at my private door. Now, I've heard the name Dirty Steve before, and it never means anything good for those who live past the first meeting. Which, of course, has me a bit concerned about who our noisy friend may have been spewing our secrets to. A rare few know me by name, even less my frontage at the tavern. These two showed up at my escape door asking after a job. Only one other knew of that door, and not just any job either. One that goes against one of my other clients. I did not know where they were going, so I agreed to a, a contract that at an exorbitant right just to test their mettle. But they agreed. This had the smell of a trap written all over it if I've ever seen one. So I did what any capable agent of the underworld would do. I had them killed. Well, well, at least I tried to. I sent my best cleaning crew, thinking I could even come out with some valuable knowledge for the house. At the very least, I could expect to walk away with part of an airship. That would allow me, Darren, and you to set up a new spot back in Riggleport, just as we always dreamed of. Unfortunately, they proved more resilient than I would have first thought. In fact, that adorable halfling I was so busy gawking at cut down the whole squad in a single flourish. I'd never seen anything so quieting in my life. To make matters worse, they seem to be recruiting their own repair crew while I have unwittingly supplied their endeavor. From bad to worse, as they say, next they came knocking at my tavern frontage. They clearly know my escape route and no doubt have it covered, so it was lucky that the fixer was at hand. They somehow made it past all of my defenses and just now they've killed the poor wrench toting bastard. I'll miss Darren, he was the best fixer I've ever known, but I'll mourn for him later, for now. These fools will never again see the light of day.